Hello, um, so this is going to be a little short video just to talk a little bit more about this magnetic build plate. Um, well, the time has come, I have to do something about this. Uh, the magnet itself has been absolutely perfect. The uh, flexible bed sticks to it without any issue whatsoever. It doesn't warp off or bend off or anything. It's got a really good grip. However, the, um, yeah, the... Uh, the magnet is deteriorating where it meets all the uh, uh, resin and clearly the rubber just cannot cope with the solvents in the resin. Um, I'm not going to throw this built uh, magnetic plate away yet. I'm also not going to throw away the plate but the actual magnet. Um, I'm going to try coating this with a uh, lacquer. Um, I haven't got any proper polyurethane conformal coating that may be better but this is something I'm going to try uh, to begin with if it doesn't work I'm not really sure what to do after that I may have to look at another magnet but it's really annoying if they actually came up with a good rubber that could hold this magnet and wouldn't break down in the resin 100% I would say use this magnet but yeah as it currently is I might have to say unless you know how to like coat it properly to protect it from the resin maybe avoid it go for the more expensive um, flexible beds out there they may they may have sorted out what they had to do with that I don't know anyway oh <coughs> ah, bless me anyway so um yeah I'm gonna try painting this and if that works great um if it doesn't yeah well this is a fair warning also if you have used this as well and it's starting to break down be aware this is neodymium based magnets in here and it's in a powdered form don't breathe it in don't you know ingest it in any way whatsoever it would not be good for you anyway um i'm gonna give this paint and i'll get back to you in a moment I should also mention that I did actually test a few different lacquers out and so far the Halfords lacquer actually seemed to work the best. It's also the one that mostly melted the um, polystyrene. Anyway, uh, they seem to be best so that's the one I am using for the moment. Uh, wish me luck. And here we are, a few coats later. Um, hopefully that's going to be well sealed. I'm going to give this 24 hours to fully cure. Um, then I'll probably put it back on the printer and see how things go. So, yeah, wish me luck. And half a dozen or so prints later, it's looking like it's actually worked. Um, it's still early days, but so far so good. When I tested the lacquer earlier, I was checking to see how it reacted with the resin and it didn't appear to break down under the resin where the enamel paint and the other lacquer did appear to. This one seems to work so far. It's still early days, but so far so good. Anyway, thank you for checking out this short video. If you want to support me, check out my Patreon or my GoFundMe. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Uh, catch you in the next one. Bye.